God for the opportunity to be here and this moment in my life and it would not have been possible if it was not for my, for my district my school my colleagues my friends my families my students my teachers like Miss Avila all of you contributed to my development as a person and as a teacher I want to recognize and thank Mr. Lawrence Brown for seeing the teacher in me when I didn't see the teacher in myself I especially must acknowledge my mother, Claudine Providence, who was my first teacher, and she told me I can be anything I wanted to be, except a ballerina, because I was flat-footed. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God for the opportunity and the privilege of being a teacher. Not only do we teach the curriculum in accordance to the content standards, but we have the opportunity to contribute to drawing out the greatness that is within each and every one of our students, and then point our students toward their possibilities, their hopes, and their destinies. Today, we teachers here are representatives of the numerous teachers that are doing phenomenal things in the classrooms every day. However, the bottom line is that it's all about the jewels. We, the teachers, are the miners and the jewelers. Sometimes we have to dig deep to help our students unearth and see the greatness that is within them. Sometimes we have to cut the gems because it takes a diamond to cut a diamond. Sometimes we have to polish the rough edges and none of these processes are easy. However, sometimes we have the chance to share and to display to you and to others what we see in our classrooms every day the precious, brilliant jewels shining as exemplified by all the students that are here tonight. Thank you all for recognizing us teachers as jewelers, but in the end, and whatever stage they are in, the bottom line of it is all about the jewels, our students. Thank you. Thank you. 